You too. What's going on? Kyle again for me, Pool Supply. Back again today with a what's in the box for you guys on Polaris's factory rebuild kit for the 380 pressure side pool cleaner. This will be for the Black Max model. So stay tuned. We're going to dive in. All right, guys, and we're back. So again, today we're gonna to go over Polaris's 380. This is the factory rebuild kit. For those of you guys out there that do not know, they make factory rebuild kits as well as factory tune-up kits. Um, we'll actually have all of them listed directly on our website for you. Uh, but the difference between a factory rebuild kit and a tune-up kit is with the factory rebuild kits, you're basically getting an entire new cleaner. So aside from the actual frames of the cleaners, which are always 100% of the time a warrantable item through the manufacturer, the rebuild kit will come with basically everything else. Whereas a tune-up kit normally only comes with some of the wearable parts that the cleaner runs through. So there's a whole list of them on the back of this. I'm not going to show you guys because this is the Black Max model. And obviously the part numbers on the back are related to the original model, not the Black Max, totally different part numbers. So we'll have all of them available directly in the links in the description for you guys. So you can come to the website, check out some more information, see the actual part numbers and their breakdowns. So then that way you guys can buy individual parts if you need to. But if you're looking to completely revamp the cleaner, highly suggest you grab one of these. It is uh, roughly around the cost, around half the cost of a new cleaner. So then that way you can get a full rebuild and a full refresh on the cleaner itself without having to buy a whole new one. So let's dive in. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what comes included. I really like the way that they package these. <clears throat> Everything is in here nice and neat. They normally don't have a ton of loose parts. So I'm just kind of start grabbing and lifting out for you guys. So again, here is the cleaner head, and here is the tail sweep. Better yet, I'm gonna take it all out, and then we'll actually go over it all rather than just one by one. So bear with me. So this one was obviously a returned unit that we got. So a lot of your guys' stuff will come brand new with all the, the boxes still taped and everything together, but we were able to uh, grab this to show you guys a video. So here is your tail sweep. So again, this is the Black Max model. So most of the time the Black Max is meant for the darker style pool. So if you have a darker pebble in your pool or you're you're looking for you know something that just kind of blends in with the bottom of the pool floor, it's really neat when you get to actually see this thing in the pool because you can't see it. So it's really nice when you have a darker pe pebble, this thing will kind of bounce around and, uh, and pick everything up. Obviously it's still really cool. You throw it in your plaster pool, um, doesn't really matter. It's just meant for those darker colored pools that it's less of an eyesore for those of you guys that don't actually want the cleaner in the pool so there's tail sweep it does not come with the tail sweep pro that polaris provides it will accept it so you guys can purchase those again we'll have those down in the links for you guys we've showed you guys what comes included with that and the differences between a regular tail sweep so you guys can check out that video so there's the tail sweep and then you've got your actual feed pipe in here again everything about this is going to be darker so that you can't actually see it. So this gets to installed down in there. It's actually got the water management system already pre-installed in the actual top and base assembly here. So it does save you guys some time on having to completely rebuild, but obviously it does not have that frame inside for everything to grab. So you guys still will need to use your original frame. So you're gonna take apart your cleaner in order to slide on the frame and drop it in. So then that way everything can actually attach to the cleaner itself because it will give you the openings here for your wheels, but nothing inside will be able to be attached as it does not have that frame with all those pre-done uh, screw holes. So you will we'll need to cut this open and actually install your frame before you start putting all the rest of the parts on the cleaner. So this is what they call the top and base assembly. Again, it's already pre-installed with the water management system in here, which has your Venturi jets already installed. It's got your tail sweep uh, attachment here with the sweep adjustment hose screw. So it's already got all those things installed on there for you, which is kind of nice. Again, and when you take the top off, that's gonna be your basic motive to be able to get Obviously I needed to remove these screws to be able to take it off. I was gonna show you guys, but um, 
another video. We'll show you guys how to do that. But it essentially, once you slide that in, then you can start rebuilding. So tear your old one down, grab this and start from the beginning. So again, you got your um, feed pipe. And then of course they give you the, the bag with the bag clip. Everything's already included. This is just the basic Velcro bag. Again, you can always get different options. They've got zippered bags, they've got snap lock bags. There's different options in terms of sand and silt or just a regular leaf bag. They have all those. So check out all the parts again that we have on the cleaner themselves. But here's a little bag clip I was telling you about. That'll actually clip to the uh, small pressure hose that you guys have that will help keep this thing up as the cleaner's running. So set that off to the side. And then we'll jump into this one. So again, as I said, factory rebuild kit. So this is gonna come with all new wheels, all new tires, all new bearings, everything you need to basically get this thing back up and, excuse me, back up and running. So it's got your two-sided wheels and it's got your single side wheel. So as you guys are familiar with Polaris, they're a three wheel cleaner. They're not a four wheel like a Pentair or some similar to a Hayward where they may have additional wheels. They are three wheel. So you've got normally two that run off a drive and one that just kind of free spins. So they do give you all the wheels with the tires pre-installed, which is really nice. Again, black tires. You can throw white tires on it. doesn't matter. It's just going to be the Black Max model. So you're getting everything in a darker color. So they put all those off to the side. So fold those back up. Again, really a fan of how they package stuff just because of how tight knit everything is to fit in that box. It's great for us for shipping. And then obviously it doesn't allow a lot of movement for you guys to get the items and cause damage. So we'll open this up. So they just throw you guys in a feed hose. So obviously you guys know on your hoses, they all have these floats. They do give you an extra one, not something you necessarily need, but again, this is a factory rebuild kit. So they're just allowing you guys to have some additional parts. So this will go to your hose itself. The other thing they do again, they give you a full complete new backup valve. So this will come complete with the actual gears assembled inside. So it's not just a case kit. So you guys can actually replace this on your hose as well. And then of course they give you the actual um, float for the cleaner, which attaches right here on the feed pipe. So that's what this little ridged part is on the back. That's where you'll actually slide on this float. That helps keep this cleaner up as it's traveling. It just makes sure that everything stays straight up and down. And then you get a turbine cover. You've got your new turbine in here. You've got weights. Um, looks like you've got another gear cover. We've got a new spindle gear, a couple other gears in here. Again, you'll know when you guys are tearing everything apart, it's giving you brand new everything. Of course, the spindle gear is all wrapped up in bubble wrap for you guys. They give you an extra washer. Uh, looks like we've got an O-ring that is meant to go on the bottom of this feed pipe. There you go. And then inside the bag, since this is a belt driven cleaner, they do give you new belts. So you've got the small and the large belt. Uh, they give you the axles for the wheels, bearings for the wheels. They gave you the hubcap caps. They give you um, the hose clamp for the sweep hose. What else is in here? It looks like they give you an additional two, two or three, it looks like two of the hose nuts. So again, if you need new hose nuts, when you guys are taking off this uh, backup valve, they'll give you new hose nuts. And then of course they give you all of your uh, lock washers and screws and additional O-rings all included in this nice little bag, along with the instructions. The instructions will actually blow this up and show you guys how to completely rebuild this as well. Um, we're gonna have videos on how to completely rebuild the 380. So then that way you guys know what to expect but we just wanted to show you guys what comes included in the factory rebuild kit compared to an actual tune-up kit. So again, uh, I'll kind of push all this stuff back, but just wanted to go over what comes included in the Polaris 380 Black Max factory rebuild kit. Again, check out all the links in the description. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos coming your way on Polaris products as well as all the other products listed on our website. So I really appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, I'm Kyle from Maple Spy. Thank you.